guys, I'm Masa Khotale and I'm back again with another video and in today's one, we're talking about lease agreement and everything you need to know before signing that contract. Now, I'm going to base some of, some of what I'm going to say on experience, but at the end of the day, think about how, think of like worst case scenario, right? When you, before signing a contract and specifically now, because we're talking about lease agreements, Think of the worst possible thing that someone can do against you and try to address that before signing, right? So the first thing, this is like a very obvious one, like read your contract, read everything. <laughs> Sometimes you get little clauses and little hidden clauses and, you know, try to read everything and understand exactly what the contract says before signing this is a very basic one it's very obvious but sometimes people don't read if you don't understand ask your landlord to explain what that means and yeah then you'll be good now this next tip is very important all of them are important but this one right here right so inspecting your room or the apartment or flat that you are renting. It is very important to inspect the condition of the flat. I'm gonna make reference to a flat and not apartments and rooms, but basically you just categorize them in one. Same, same, but different, but still same. It is very important that you inspect the flat as well as the condition of it and Check for any damages, you know, and the thing about these faults is that they're usually not visible and in your face. They're usually very hidden, you know. Sometimes your uh, flat could include, in well, within the, the agreement, it could include a fridge, a stove, a microwave, a t TV. Um, so check if those actually work, because if you move out and it happens that you know they don't work anymore i mean according to the landlord and the agreement everything is in order and if you did not report it in time then you know it's unfair to have to be penalized for something that you did not damage so inspect all those things that they work and sometimes it, it will take time but make sure that before you sign you inspect everything and when i say everything i mean the tile i'm talking about the roof you know the painting is the what do you call you know like in the shower and then you have um and then it's steamy and then it, it molds yeah the moldy um walls check that you know before you move in you 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 should note everything that is faulty so that when you move out it's not your fault you know you found them that way um and then also with every fault that you pick up make sure that you take pictures make sure you write it down you take recordings it's very important to have evidence and footage that shows you know when something isn't working and then just make sure that you know you let the landlord know because sometimes it's like you could take pictures but you don't show them to your landlord so you take pictures and recordings and stuff and then you just keep them to yourself and you're like okay i'm gonna let them know when i move out that i found this and this you know before i moved in but the landlord was not aware of that and then it could still be that you know you destroyed that and then you just took pictures afterwards and made it seem like oh i found it this way so i mean like i said some some of these things are very obvious but in the moment you might just neglect the very important stuff and you know whatever evidence that you find make sure that you let your landlord know uh beforehand and that you guys are both in agreement of whatever condition um uh what's this the the flat is in or the appliances and everything else proof is very important when it comes to legal matters so just be on the safe side and not be blindsided because you really do find some very very sneaky landlords and people who just want to take advantage of 
people and just make a quick buck you know in your lease agreement you will find somewhere where it says you need to pay when you, where it says you need to pay rent maybe in advance or on the first day of the month or before the first day of every month stuff like that um just make sure you know um exactly like i said read your contract and understand when you need to make payments because sometimes most of the time actually with every late payment they charge you a penalty so there's a fee it could be 10 percent, 15 percent, whatever percentage it is they charge you a fee per day outstanding so just make sure you know when your payments are supposed to be paid um before they're due and also with these payments make sure that you keep the proof of every single payment that you make guys like i said these landlords some of them are very sneaky and if you don't keep record of every single thing especially when it comes to things like money whew, they will they will take advantage of you they will make sure that you pay you keep paying and so it's important that with every deposit slip if you're going to be depositing the money keep the receipts and if you're going to be making you know eft payments then you know you you get like a a bank statement um you get a bank statement and on there if it's like a debit order then it will reflect every month so i guess that's more convenient and if you're going to be paying cash like to on the um, the landlord's hand then make sure that they give you a receipt some sort of proof that shows that you actually have paid your rent and keep that proof for future reference when your landlord decides to suddenly act up and pretend like they didn't get any money it can happen it actually happens a lot often than you might think and then sometimes you do find that you know i've actually heard stories of people who found a place um online i don't know i don't know what site it is but like some of these sites where you know you just post advertisements and you know you get people who call and be like hey so i saw this whatever whatever some of those people are fake and they are dodge and they don't exist so they will put up an advert of you know um a place to rent that is available and you know you you call them and you ask about it and they let you know everything about it and then it the story is convincing obviously they're professionals they're good at it and so they they tell you to make a payment um because obviously there's like deposits right um so you make the deposit you pay it and then when it comes and then the day when you're supposed to go um over to that place and view it you find that you know the landlord doesn't exist there's no such person there's no such you know um flat that is available or it could even be available but then it doesn't belong to that person who advertised it so it is very important to be aware of where you find these places to rent as well as making sure that you know before you make your payment go and see the place and make sure that it actually exists and you know just the legitimacy of it you know don't just trust people on the phone and make payments and finalize everything when you do not know the person the face even you know you find that you've never even met them you don't know their name or it, you could have maybe known their name but it's obviously a, a, a fake name so yeah it's very important to see who your landlord is meet up with them see the place that you're going to be renting out inspect everything that i i've already spoken about yeah guys there's, there's people who are out to make a quick a quick buck and people are very creative when it comes to making money i don't know why they don't just open up a legitimate business since they're like so creative but they're really good at scamming people and their scams are very easy to believe because they seem so realistic and 
just do not fall in that trap it's really sad having people pay a whole ten thousand fifteen thousand whatever deposit and then it just went down the drain you don't even know the the number is blocked it doesn't work anymore you weren't giving you weren't given any emails there's just no way to track them down so just be on the safe side and also talking about money it's very important to also understand what will be included in your rent so some agreements you know you you do get water and electricity paid or not paid but then they are included within your um rent amount um or rent payments but sometimes you know you do find that water only water is included but electricity you have to buy separately sometimes even water is separate or whatever the case may be just make sure you understand exactly what the value of the flat is and what you are paying for and you know some just make sure if you have a car you know where are you gonna park your car is there a parking space available do you have to pay extra for that these are the things that you have to compare and weigh you know between the different places that you are interested to rent and the next one is the lease duration and by when you need to move out this also goes back to reading your contract you need to understand when your lease starts and when it ends um, usually you know student accommodate student private accommodations require you to move out i'd say like mid-december because usually by then you know you're done with your exams even your supplementaries and you know it's now time for festive seasons it's holiday time and people are now going home and everything so you need to understand when it starts and then when it ends because sometimes you could move in a bit too prematurely and your lease hasn't begun yet you know or you might not have um you know organized your flights or just your transportation going back home and but but by then you need to move out so just like understand exactly when that duration is and how long you should be staying in that place and then last but not least the termination of your contract <laughs> this one is actually something that i went through last year i did not expect to even yo guys this one was a problem like i never had problems but this one right here it's like my stay was great and then i had to leave and then it was like oh hold up girl where are you going like hey, i'm leaving what you mean <laughs> so the termination of the contract is very important to understand now there are different factors that could you know result to you wanting to terminate your contract uh my reason was that i was done with my exams and you know your, your girl had to go home you know i had i wanted to go home and um so the thing about my lease agreement was that it started in january and it ended in december so that's like a whole 12 months basically right and but then i ended my contract mid-year because i was done with exams i wanted to go home there was no point of me staying there anymore so with me i had an agent that you know i would communicate with not directly with the landlord i don't even know who the landlord is but i communicated with the um my estate agent so before i let her know i read I, I i quickly went through um the key points of like termination and what i needed to you know refresh my mind on so that when i start telling her that i'm moving out it can be like a quick you know exchange like because it was it's supposed to be quick like i'm moving out oh okay cool this is what's happening and then okay cool and then we're moving out but it was not like that at all so i let her know that i'm moving out and um so now basically just to sum it all up she was talking about things that were not in the contract so the thing about it is that i paid i pay in advance always right um and so i had basically had already paid for the month the next month and then she's like no you need to pay for the next month i'm like okay first of all i feel like you need to check your statements you know just i mean before i feel like before you 
you talk or you speak i feel like you just need to like just make reference to just i mean i have like an account i have i probably have like a statement or whatever my name you know i'm like a whole i'm a whole tenant so just go to my name check stuff but she's like she's telling me to pay she's not asking did you pay you know what i mean and then so anyway after the whole exchange um basically she just wanted to after that, there was something else that you wanted me to pay for. And I'm like, no, I'm not doing that. My contract that I signed, you have the copy of. By the way, we both have copies. I signed that. My termination um, penalty is my deposit, which I paid, obviously, before moving in. And that's what it says on the contract your termination penalty is your deposit so i forfeited my deposit but also before i i told her that i'm terminating i did a cost benefit analysis so basically i calculated from that point going forward um so for the rest of the year if i were to continue staying there how much would i be paying and i'm like okay that's it's an x amount okay so how much was my deposit that i paid that i'm not gonna have to forfeit if i terminate the contract okay it's this amount and then comparing the both it was more expensive for me to continue living there versus just you know forfeiting the deposit amount so it was concluded i'm terminating right but no i mean i get that like 2020 was rough on everybody but yo girl no, that is not how we do it. So just understand your the termination. Yo, guys, and yo, like the thing is, when you are inside a contract and um you didn't read something and something as like because circumstances happen. We saw twenty twenty. You know, like we just it could be because of finances. It could be because you don't want to live there anymore. It could be just different reasons and factors. You don't want to continue your lease and someone could make it a lot more harder than it should be for you if you didn't know your contract because your contract is your rights whatever that is written on your con on the contract whatever that you're signing for you're signing for your rights and responsibilities when it comes to you know your your relationship i guess with your with your landlord so yeah those are my tips <laughs> on you know um what you need to know before signing your lease agreement Alrighty, guys that is it from me i hope you guys found it very useful and if you did please do not forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you have not done so already i will check you guys next time bye Do 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 do